welcome boys and girls welcome to my Hamilton Tarp campsite mm. they look happy I'm happy because everything has just worked out fine for it to happen this night yeah. Holly, the ball and chain I'm talking to you Holly dear she's about a spa treatment thing overnight hotel me and my friends had all chipped in and for Mother's Day, send the, send the girls away, so that's holiday sorted. The wee man, he's getting looked after by her auntie overnight as well, so leaves me to come and, uh, yeah, stay overnight out in the bush, share it with you. Uh, I'm at Loco, and hang on, I would say that's turned this round. There is what people like to refer to as the floating castle. Depending on the perspective you see it from, it just looks as if it's just sitting on the water. We'll see if I can get a wee shot like that. Maybe later on, but I've just arrived. I'm not set up yet. Um, so yeah, the ground's quite boggy. To be honest with you, I mean it's, all it does is rain in Scotland. So this time of the year, it's uh, just the start of April. It comes as no surprise. But I'll probably just pitch up between these two. I'll put on my tarp first, then put on my hammock, and I'll be off the ground anyway. So. Yeah, I'll obviously need to build a, a dry base so she can get some rocks and that'll do for my that'll do for my, my fire pit. I don't know about you. I mean it might be floating to you but it doesn't look like it's floating to me. Maybe I'm at the wrong end of the lock, who knows? But there you go, I'll try and see if we can get it water. Nope, still not floating. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll do a quick rundown of what I brought with me. Yeah, I moved the, the, where I'm going to actually hang my hammock and tarp. I've actually moved it to these two trees. It's a wee bit more raised. It's, it's not as boggy. It's a bit better. Um, so yeah, that should sort, that should sort me out. The way forgetting, you know, get up in the middle of the night or whatever and stand on boggy, boggy ground. Anyway, let's go on. Take this off. Sleeping bag. I think the sleeping bag is rated to. I think it's minus three, but I checked the weather. It's not to get any colder than seven degrees. I think. I just don't really want it to rain, but yeah, it should be okay. So, then again, you never know. Let's just hope it stays dry. So, my trusted gloves. Keep me warm should it get cold. I took, I took some steps just in case it gets too cold. I've got several wires on. Uh, I've got my fleece there. Um, I've got a pair of long johns on. We call them here. I don't know if that, we call that, you know, where you're from or you know, whatever. But it's basically like a base layer. It's, it's quite skin tight. To keep you warm. Yeah, yeah, so. Bogdo. Because when you gotta go, you gotta go. First aid cat. There's a tap. <coughs> Powerful headlight. I showed that in a video before. It was when I went up the cobbler, Ben Arthur, and almost got almost got caught in a blizzard. That was crazy. But this is what uh, I had with me that time. Should I have needed it? But I only need it tonight. Obviously, I'll be here by dark. This will uh, help me see if I need to go up and use the toilet or if. You know, somebody tries to creep up on me, you never know. I hope that doesn't happen. I just need to get that out to them. Trusted knife. More like a sword. I love this thing though, it's good for... <coughs> I just think it looks quite cool, but it's strong and it's good for battening down bigger bits of wood into smaller pieces, into kindling, to your fire. I wasn't too sure about the wood situation here, it's quite a lot of places in Scotland. Especially at this time of year, it's quite hard to get firewood. I mean, you can find bits, but it's usually quite punky, wet, saturated, and you know, it's some. So there is actually some places where the management is that you can't really cut down any trees. You know, it's not it's not permitted. So on the way in, I picked up some kindling and I got uh, some some logs, but they'll get used regardless. But I've had a quick look about, and I think there's enough here to sustain sustain me, keep me fire going during the night. Cooking pot, grill. That's what my steak will be getting cooked on later on. I'll show you that later on, though, do I spoil the party too early? So, my steak. 
I brought my trusty, this isn't every video I've done so far. <laughs> I'm still with the gas, still with the same gas as well. This gas has lasted me forever. I bought another wee one as well, should I need it, but, but I think there's still enough in this. Old faithful. It's getting there, but it's still still got some in it, still life in here. Old girl yet. So that's that. Yeah. That's the bag at the minute, put that back together in a minute. <coughs> Hammock. Boom. Uh, folding Wolverine saw. Chop them down any bits and pieces that I find that I think are dead or you know I can use up to get them into smaller pieces. And uh, I just use another bit, you know, a big bit of wood and I can use that as a batten to, along with the knife to, to knock down bits of wood, make them smaller. I think that's it. <sighs> Trusted buff. I love these things as well. These things are great. So many configurations. They're handy in the summer to keep your head from getting burnt. Or in the winter, a scarf or a neckerchief or whatever you want to call it. You can turn it a bandana. Put it right over your face if it gets cold. No doubt I'll have that on tonight. But uh, that's it. That seems to think I've covered everything. Later on, when it gets. This is Saturday. Um, so, it being Saturday, I've worked all week, I'll have a couple of beers with me tonight and I'll enjoy them, tell you, but again, I'll show you them later. I don't know if you can see that, but this is just a, a top line hitch. So you see a bit of bite through it. Anyway, that was a real pain in the ass trying to film that. But uh, basically, what that is, is a Siberian hitch or an event hitch, something you call it, at one side. You can do it. You can do a top line hitch at both sides if you want. It's just up to your self, you know, your own preference. That's sort of a Siberian hitch, and a top line hitch, and then just draw the top line in until you're nice and tight. And I'll put my tarp over that. Well, there she is in all her glory. There's only one criticism I'd have about where I put it is if I wish the trees were a bit wider, with the tarp being wider than the wood for the trees. It's it's cause it. You know, kind of bag up a little bit, but I've put it. To, it's taut enough, so that's all that matters. It'll keep me dry. It's home for tonight, and there's a the hammock up as well, and the netting up. It runs through its own uh, totally. Uh, the hammock itself is really simple. You get a hammock strap. And you put a figure eight bite and loop it which gives you this hole, and you put there, they feed the other one through, and then I would have filmed this, but it was difficult with this phone, and the, the, you know, they've got the GoPro kind of set up thing, chest strap, but it's just still no good. But anyway, now that comes through, and you basically make a loop, fold it over itself, and then you, the carabiner clips on, and then you, when you draw it, it just, it just kind of draws in on itself. It's very simple, very effective. It starts the same at both sides, so... <coughs> That's my bed for the night. <coughs> Back to what I was saying there about the, the GoPro, it, I decided not to bring it because I feel it's uh, the, 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 the quality of the videos are, are, are poor. And I suppose I've only got myself to blame because it's only a hero free. But uh, I just feel it was really, really, you know, the quality wasn't that good. And I, I noticed the one the last upload I had with, when I was uh, having a picnic night with the, the Wayne, it was the, the, the sheer difference of. Uh, I just film everything on the phone now. I've got a new iPhone and I find, I find the camera's brilliant on it. So I thought I'd come and do everything on this. But I've found out that doing the point of view stuff, especially when you've got your arms up, up, up to above your head here, if you're tying, you know, doing the taut lines and doing the knots and that, I couldn't, I couldn't film it good enough. Whereas the GoPro is just quite more, more compact and it's easier to stay in the one place. But enough moaning about that and just get on me. what's going down. Bags in. Moment of truth. <laughs> well, 
You know you've done it alright, right? But it's always sketchy this bit. I always think you're just gonna go right into the flare. That's is good. I think that's all I've learnt from a, a German in, in school. Very few words. You know, why am I even talking German? Shut up. Anyway. Look at this, man. Comfortable. I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. I like having that big tight, that top line there as well, you can hang stuff on it. But just if you get really comfortable and you put to hang your soaks up or bits and pieces, headlamp that, that's where that will go. Got that warm, that's, I'm down to the base layer, it's quite warm. So the sun's not out, but I soon uh, work up a sweat and just knock my around putting stuff up in that. It's uh, time for a cup of tea. I'm gonna make a spot of lunch as well. Yeah, I'm gonna make, this is one of my specialties, it's dead simple to make. Good, I mean, I make it when I'm in the house, but it's easy to make when you're out, outside as well, out camping and whatnot. And it's two packs of cockroaches, right? And cut half a I'll take half home, I'll not put a full one in it, half a smoked sausage. Just chop that into it, let it cook and see when that's ready. That is spot on. So I've put enough water in there to make my tea first though. If you can see up there we have snow, which is a... Uh, Disappearing slowly but surely, but there's snow there at the top of the mountains. More so that way, we're actually heading further north. Now, my missus thought that that was holes in the mountain. Actual holes that you could see through the mountain into the sky again. Now when the conditions are like that, you can kind of see a wee bit why she would think that. But logic would tell you, why would there be big holes in the mountain? Sorry babe, I had to. So, make the water boiling. You're probably wondering why I'm not using wood, but we've got limited wood and it's for mistaking for the uh, camp TV during the night. So, all we'll do is I will turn this down. Let's see what I'm surprisingly thorough as well, especially with the next person actually. Right? Where these gloves are always commanded is these pins get very warm. What to do with that is I guess I'm put in there. Oh soften up. Oh soften up. 
Bam. And then just smoke the sausage to the broth. Just let it sit for a little bit. That's it. I think you'll agree, I think that there. That there was an absolute feast, man. Yep. Yeah, boy. <clears throat> Chill out my little compact chair that <coughs> I've now mastered putting up and down. If you'd actually seen the last upload, I struggled with it. Well, I should struggle. Probably took about five minutes, but it should take up. It should be quicker than that. But uh, I'd put it on. This has got four kind of little inserts <coughs> that hook on each each piece, um, and I always put it on upside down. That's why it was so hard. Ducks. I don't know if you can see them. They'll be surrounded by ducks. I smell my food. You're not getting any. Oh. No. Boo. <coughs> you hear <them>? <coughs> I'm gonna have to chase him. <coughs> Oi, boo. <laughs> Just leave a man in peace with his dinner or his lunch, should I say? Jesus. I felt quite sorry for the ducks. <laughs> I actually left them a wee bit in my smoke sauces and that. There's some noodles in there. And then over there just polishing it off. Quite right lads, that's it. A lad and ladette. They keep encroaching on me though. I think because if they've given them something they must think, oh, what else you got big man, what else you got for me? I think it's time for a beer. I think it's time for one of my beers. Here we go. <clears throat> got an old speckled hen. And I've got a thirsty ferret. Now I've got one I want first. I think I'll go for the ferret. I bought a van on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, it's Wednesday after Easter Sunday. But I bought it on Wednesday for the simple reason that I need a van rather than a car to get my my kayak and my outdoor stuff. You know, this is, this, the cars, you don't really want to be putting miles on, your, on a decent car when you can just buy a van and you can stick your, stick your kayak inside it. It's, it was the Ford Connect Transit long wheelbase so high top so I should be able to get my kayak in it but I'll, I'll, I'll explain more on that in, on another video I'm going to I'm going to convert it into a, like a semi day camper a folding bed but it's, it's primarily for the okay, we're up in the north of Scotland and, and, and humping my gear about wherever the car's just no, no use I mean as you, you'll never forget anything either if you've got absolutely everything in there in the in the in the back of the van, then you're, you're sorted, didn't you? So that's the plan for that. But as I said, there's, there's a separate video coming up for that. Cheerio, troops. See you later, lads. You get easy now. <laughs> so here we have Loco. See, the only thing that spoils these views is, I mean, it's, I know it's civilization and progress and that, but see when you've got the, see the power lines, I mean, they, they literally, they run, they run right over, not over the top, obviously, but, you know, run along the kind of, the bottom end, they get a lot of mountains in Scotland, a lot of windows, listen, you see that one, it goes right along here. Mm -hmm. 
kind of ruins the landscape a little bit. There's that guy in that boat, I was telling you about. He's trying to spin, maybe trying to do a bit of trolling, I'm not sure what he's trying to do, but I'm not caught anything yet, I've been keeping my eye on him. There's the not so floating castle. Ducks are still in view. Cheerio, troops! Yeah, yeah, looking pretty sweet. If it was blue skies and the sun was out, this place would just take your breath away. It still does, even like this, but it really is. It's one of many lovely places in Scotland. But when I get this, the kayak in the back of that van, I'll, I'll get some more clips upload. They'll show you some cool stuff in and around this place. Uh, well, I think I'll get the, I think I'll get the fire going soon. Because my mind will soon be turning to my, to my steak. And that'd be nice, but I've got a season on it. That's another thing I was saying, you know, about Scotland. For all we get, the kind of crappy weather and it rains most of the time and all that sort of stuff, but, you know, some of the videos I watch on YouTube, but I mean, what I, what I do is, what I do in general, what I'm filming is, is the same type of films, like films, sorry, the same kind of videos I watch on YouTube and, you know, just, guys face certain dangers when they do it, you know, they've got like maybe wild bears and, you know, animals that could kill you. Whereas we don't have, we don't really have that problem here. You know what I mean? The only thing you worry about that would be an animal that's escaped to the zoo or something. <laughs> a tiger on the loose and it's, you know, it's after your steak. That's about it. When there is dangerous animals in Scotland, you've got stags and whatnot. And you wouldn't want to come in, you wouldn't want to get, you know, confronted with one of them in, you know, middle of mating season and have the antlers, you know, rammed up your backside. But... You know, it's, that's what we, as I say with the pros and cons, like we might have bad weather, but if we don't have the animal situation and we don't have likes of earthquakes, there's no fault lines that run through Scotland, any hurricanes and all that sort of stuff. The only issue we have is the shitty weather. Getting pushed on quite a lot, when that happens. Quite a lot. We might have a good spring, there's a few good weeks in the spring and that, but that's about as far as that goes. The summer comes, the sun. There's even much of the summer. The temperature rises, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see much of the sun. The sun pops out here and there, but that's why everybody in Scotland looks forward to going on holiday. I'm going to be looking forward to that myself, which is in a matter of weeks. It's the first family holiday with me, Holly and the band, so. I'll could here. I'll could here for ten days. I'm looking forward to that. Well, I'm enjoying this. I love doing this as well. I mean, as I say, I'll be kicking that fire up shortly. Start it up. I need it to die off anyway so I can cook the steak on it, so... That'll be next. When you imagine the nightmare, try to start a fire with punky wood or turn, you know, scavenging for for something that would burn. That would be a nightmare. Yeah, true nightmare. Starting a forest fire in Scotland. State of the place, man, it's soaking. <coughs> Should have 
think you're going to use a brick for this, but again, I can't find anything strong enough to bash my blade, so I brought a rock on it to do. Regardless of the rain, the fire's looking very, very nice, very comfortably cooking away, staving off any raindrops, it tries to extinguish it, which is great. Uh, I checked the weather, it's to rain, there's a 100% chance it's going to rain at 8 o'clock, and it's 10 past 8 just now, so I'm kind of making the decision that I'm, I don't really need to feed the fire as such, but what I'll do is, I'll, uh, I'll just let it burn away and I'll try and hold off making my steak as long as possible. Um, I mean, there is, there is no real rush to make it. I mean, I'll eat it in the dark, I'll eat it any time, it doesn't really matter. But I, I, would, I, would, I would much prefer to come out and enjoy it and, and not get soaked. I mean, the rain... It, it, I mean, the, the rain is... I mean, it is coming down, you know. There's lots of ways about it. But uh, but yeah, I'll, I mean, that'll last a night. That fire is good. I mean, it's the coals in there are, are top notch. The rain's not going. The rain's not going to put that out. As long as I keep on top of it, I'll be fine. And uh, I was just sitting in there chilling out for a bit. Absolutely marvellous. Well, it's twenty minutes to nine. Of fed the fire one last time, I just gave it a couple of bits of kindling just keep it going and it, this, the rain has died off a little bit which is good, good news that um, it did set with these off a little bit but it's, it's fine I mean, but as soon as that as soon as that dies down I'll, I'll get cooking yeah, I had the wardens round earlier you know, I just came out of nowhere camouflage gear on the lot it was a uh, I think it was a man and wife. Are they on the rights between the end of the fence and up to, they were telling me, somewhere up towards some bridge? And in between that, they own it. You know, and they, and they, it's them that charges you and stuff like that, it's, which is fine, and it's really so. And they were telling me about people that's illegally shot ducks here and stuff like that. I'm like, you're joking, but it turns out that it's, um, it's not just louts that come and leave litter. You get people coming and like, illegally shooting and poaching and you know, that sort of stuff, and they, they told me themselves that they don't take any nonsense with that at all. Um, you know, the police can get involved and whatnot. Um, but yeah, really so. I mean, I'm a, it's a pet hate of my own. Not so much, the, well, yeah, poaching, obviously, but that's not really my realm of reality. I mean, that's not something I deal with. Um, but the likes of people that leave a lot of rubbish lying around and, and whatnot is... Um, it's just, it's just an ISO, let's be honest. It's just an absolute ISO. But yeah, they were happy that um, I had brought my own firewood. It turns out, as I was mentioning at the start of this clip, about how, you know, it's, it's either frowned upon or it's not permitted at all to, to chop down trees and use them for firewood. But obviously, I'd brought my own. But again, the guy had mentioned as well, was that it wouldn't be much use because they've <laughs> been saturated anyway. You wouldn't get very far. But uh, yeah, but anyway, aye, the, so the steak, the steaks will be next. So, just waiting this bad boy to die down a wee bit, get us into our nice coals. Uh, slightly raise this a bit, you know, have it cooked right through how I like it, medium, medium well, kind of medium, medium-ish. <coughs> and a 21 day mature sirloin, um, once that's cooked, how I think it's cooked roughly in the middle, I'll take it off and I'll put it directly on the coals for about a minute either side and that should that should be it. And, and that'll be me getting tore in about it, so roll on. Nice. 
had to restoke a fryer. The rain got on a bit heavier, so the coals were dying out to fill it up. That's what I had to do to continue. I wanted my steak ready for eating. Looking forward to this 100%. Again, man. I've just threw some more fuel on your fire. Don't you know that? I don't even care if I get it. I'm fed and uh, I'm beginning to bed anyway. Come on, mate. That steak is tremendous. Not exactly the best cutlery, but it does a trick. Get that, man. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, well, it's me tucked up. Chilling right out. I mean, I said at the start, I said I just didn't want it to rain. I mean, it's, the rain just, just puts a literally dampener on it, doesn't it? It's a dampener on it because for all that it's no cold or that, but you're having to keep everything dry and you're having to kind of, kind of hide for it. And even when I was eating the steak there, I mean, I was kind of huddled under the wee extra bit of tarp, you know, with the tarp kind of lipped over. I was kind of huddled underneath it. If I'd only just have stayed the way it was at the beginning, but you know what? It was still, it's still been a blast. I've still had a good time. Um, uh, well, I, I hope the. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. I, I try to make them, <coughs> try to make the video as much as it, you know, when you watch them, you feel as if you're there and stuff like that. That's really the kick that people get out of these things. Um, but over there, I've certainly enjoyed myself. That's my wee lamp. I don't even need the light off my head torch. That's just that's the wee lantern that I've got. It's dangling there, but I don't. I have got the net up, but I don't want to attract too many insects. I just. I mean, it's just, it's this what they're doing, they just go towards the light and before you know it they're annoying you. But I should be fine with this here. Um, so yeah. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm saying that as if I'm, uh, this, is, this, is the, this is the end of the clip. I mean, there will be a bit when I wake up. When I say the whole good morning thing, so there's that. <laughs> right. But as of now, it's night night. <sighs> Morning out. Oh, I slept pretty well. Right. Oh, I regret having that beer last night. I was over a couple of times I'd have a pee. Which is an inconvenience when you're in a hammock and a sleeping bag when you're when you're all settled and you're having to try and keep you settled again, you're fidgeting. Oh, my feet get really cold. I woke up about four o'clock this morning. My feet were freezing. But apart from that, I could sleep. So I think I'll be getting up. <sighs> Lovely fresh morning. I missed you can't even see the hills in the background. Very nice. I think I'll get breakfast on. Well, what's on the menu this morning? Simple. Porridge and tea. Get visitors back in. The ducks are back. Oh, 
spot snail, I'm not getting any bread or anything to give them, so. Tough titty ducks. Tough titty. Oh, it's fresh this morning. It's a nice morning, just a bit chilly. Oh, my feet during the night, that was horrible, waking up. Four in the morning with my feet absolutely blocks of ice. keep shuffling them about, holding them in my hands until they warmed up a bit and go back to sleep again. But to be honest, all in all, it's <coughs> a good night's sleep. You can actually, when you're lying in a hammock, you can actually put your legs either side of the main kind of bit that heads up towards where your carabiner is. And if you do that, you can kind of stretch yourself out a wee bit. More, like, more so if you're in a normal bed, so you're not as banana shaped. When you're, you're still curved, but you, you, you can, you can kind of stretch your legs a bit better, if that makes any sense. Um, so I, I, I think that's probably when my feet get cold because they weren't as compact in, they were just kind of hanging over the edge, sort of a... But, uh, but as I said, it was decent sleep. supposed to be a TV crew coming here today, according to the landowners for last night, BBC Alba. They're usually filming stuff in about this neck of the woods with the castle and the scenery and stuff, but I don't know if they're actually going to come around here at this bit. Hope not. I haven't a board with anybody, to be honest. That's that film crew using their drone. <coughs> I was hovering all about here while I was dismantling my camp. It's all just about a wait. The only time to go. Well, that's it, folks. I packed up. I've actually left the campsite. I drove down to the Green Valley. Green Valley's it's probably about 10 miles away coming towards back home and uh put myself a roll and sausage with the brown sauce. Two ninety nine that cost me. Two pound ninety nine. See where I live you could get two rolls and sausage for that price. That's scandalous. But we're up in the middle of nowhere so they can get away with it. Same with our fuel prices, man, they're always through the roof. <coughs> but anyway, that's it. that's uh, that's everything. That's it. everything completed. Had a great night. I hope you've enjoyed my company. Uh, if you like what you see, you don't have to, but you can subscribe to my channel. That's always a good thing. I like your feedback as well. Give me a thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. All the good stuff. Uh, and just keep an eye out for more uploads. There will be more to come involving the kayak and this van that I bought as well. I'll, I'll go into this in a bit of detail. But for now, that's it. I'm going to stuff my face, drink my can of Coke, and go home and enjoy a shower. So, peace out.